playing video games can be a very dangerous activity. You would not expect it, but moving that mouse around or using those controller sticks can lead to accidents. Some people get seriously hurt and need to visit an emergency room. Here are 10 stories about video games that sent our brethren to the hospital. But Doris, having played, having coached, do you really know a team too well? Does that really come with that kind of familiarity? And well, yeah, I think, I think sometimes, you know, you know this guy wants to go. Often, famous sports heroes are not so much different from you and me, besides their bank account, of course. But modern sports heroes play games just like we do. Last year, this was also the case with Joel Berry II, a basketball player from North Carolina. He played a game against his teammate Pinson and lost. Out of anger, he hit a doorpost and broke his finger. He forgot the golden rule of raging, half pillows or a punching bag present at all times. We can't tell this next story with a straight face, but an anonymous Chinese gamer spent so much time playing games on the toilet that his pelvis muscles weakened. As a result, while playing a mobile game, his rectum fell out. Yes, you heard that right. A six inch part of his insides fell out of his body. Please don't look it up on Google or anything, but it happened in China. <laughs> Here's a lesson for you. Even though games are fun, play them from a chair or a couch and not from the toilet. Of course you can, but just 10 minutes, max, okay? What the hell? No, come on, no, this is disgusting. We couldn't make this list without mentioning the one that started it all. After the NES hit homes in the mid 80s, it didn't take long before a first victim was taken to the hospital. After playing Super Mario Brothers for a couple of hours, a 13 year old girl got seizures and was rushed to the emergency room. This happened because of rapid changing images on screen. Kids with a history of seizures turned out to be much more likely to be affected by this. And that's why we see those warning nowadays on our modern consoles. For the next game, we go back in time. Nintendo just launched the Nintendo 64 and introduced us to the analog stick. In order to win at Mario Party, gamers were twisting the analog stick like crazy, often hurting their thumbs, palms, or wrists. The gaming company received over 90 complaints per year and was forced to provide 1 million gamers with protective gloves. Amongst the complaints are stories about second-degree burns and tetanus shots. It's unknown how many gloves were actually shipped to Mario Party victims. Go ahead and laugh, baby. I ain't blind to the humor in this situation. The next story is probably not one that's limited to just Fallout, but it does revolve around the beloved post-apocalyptic role-playing game. Friends actor Matthew Perry is a big game nerd and truly had a second life in the wastelands. He played the game so much that his hands started to hurt. He even went to the doctor and got injections. Like I said, baby, all Benny needs is a stealth boy and a bobby pin. We don't know all the details of his injuries, but when you need stim packs in real life after playing Fallout, we can agree that you have a problem. Could Matthew Perry play any more Fallout 3? Yeah, well, laugh it up on your own time. Down to brass tacks. How'd you You should have seen this one coming. The next entry in this list is the Nintendo Wii and Wii Sports in particular. 
Of course, the Nintendo Wii came with all kinds of hilarious accidents in the living room, which included broken furniture and televisions. But playing games with those motion controllers also injured lots of people. We all hit one of our friends while playing, but swinging your arms a lot can also result in overstretching your muscles, which feels like a sports injury. Playing Wii Sports gave people all kinds of pain in their elbows and wrists. They were suffering from Wii-itis. We all know that sitting close to your television is bad for your eyes, and so is looking straight into the sun. But when you're playing a mobile game very, very concentrated, you might forget about these life lessons. This happened to a 20-year-old Chinese woman who went blind in one eye after a mobile gaming marathon. It was a competitive online game that made her lose part of her sight. She played so much Honor of Kings on her smartphone that she suffered so-called eye stroke. This happened after playing for 24 hours straight. So let that be a lesson for you Fortnite mobile players out there. Guitar Hero was one of the biggest brands of its time, and everybody wanted to join in on the fun. You had to hit the right buttons at the right time in order to be a successful rocker. It really was an amazing series, and this is something pitcher Joe Zumaya from the Detroit Tigers thought as well back in 2006. He had played the rhythm game so much, he injured his wrist. The club's doctors ordered the baseball player to stop playing the game. After treatment, Zumaya was still able to pitch some games for the Tigers, but he lost his chance at a career as a Guitar Hero top player. A 15-year-old Ohio-based gamer collapsed after a four-day marathon of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This happened in the summer of 2012, almost a year after the release of the first-person shooter. Dehydration was the cause of all this. The mom took away the Xbox 360 he was playing on because this incident was, according to her, a close call. So, medic! Nice. Not now, sir. Just rest. Get a medic! Come on, sir. We guess the lesson here is that you should eat and drink while playing games. Or just go outside sometimes. Even though that can be dangerous too. Pokemon Go might be celebrated as a game that took gamers outside, it also introduced gamers to all kinds of new dangers. The popular mobile game caused so many injuries, we probably can't even list them all. But while catching Pokemon on their phones and walking through neighborhoods, there are dozens of stories about gamers getting hit by cars and walking into objects. What the what the There are even reports of gamers driving while playing the game, causing accidents. American researchers concluded that accidents are much more likely to happen around Pokestops. We're talking about a 26% increase here. Reportedly, the game caused over 100,000 accidents in the US alone. Gotta catch all those broken bones! Those were 10 games that caused serious injuries to gamers. Have you ever injured yourself while playing video games? Let us know in the comments or on social media.